This is the Jet Zero XBW-1. It is a blended wing body and the future of aviation. This one, this is a traditional plane. It features a distinct cylindrical fuselage with wings attached. Now, although this has been the dominant airplane design for a long time, it is inefficient. Aerodynamic drag, heavy fuel consumption, incredible weights, loud noises, many stress points that can give in to fatigue over time, and so on, have been some of the challenges faced with this plane design. Some of these challenges have been somewhat handled by science over the years. Quieter engines have reduced the noise, cleaner fuel has cut down the amount of fuel needed, new composite materials have minimized the aircraft weight, and so on. But all of these haven't made enough changes to call the airplane efficient. To really achieve that, we must change the airplane itself, right down to its design. This is where the Jet Zero XBW-1 comes in. Its blended wing body design revolutionizes the airplane into something the world hasn't exactly seen before. And with that revolution comes an entire catalog of groundbreaking capabilities. The Jet Zero XBW-1 is the face of the significant leap from traditional airplane design to the more efficient blended wing body design. In August 2023, the US Air Force selected Jet Zero to develop this full-scale blended wing body demonstrator, awarding a contract worth $235 million over four years. The development includes extensive testing of flight controls and novel landing gear systems to ensure the aircraft's stability and efficiency. The goal is to have the XBW-1 flying by 2027, showcasing the potential for future air mobility solutions. For the US Air Force, the XBW-1 could be the ideal next-generation aerial refueling tanker and transport aircraft. For the commercial side of things, it could birth a new class of efficient, passenger-friendly passenger aircraft. This versatility is thanks to a variety of factors that make a blended wing-body aircraft a massive upgrade to traditional planes that make it the ideal machine in the sky. Factors such as Fifth, massive real estate. The XBW-1 has a wide, flat body that provides a spacious interior, ideal for both passengers and cargo. For passengers, this could mean more comfort and less cramped conditions. For cargo, it means the XBW-1 can really hold cargo, lots of it, which is crucial for aerial refueling tankers. The more fuel they can hold, the more aircraft they can refuel, and ultimately the more missions they can power. This means bombers, fighter jets, and reconnaissance aircraft wouldn't need to return to base as frequently as they normally would. This gives them more time in mission areas and therefore more time to execute their missions. The spacious interior also means the aircraft can support multiple configurations for different missions. It can serve as a passenger airliner, cargo plane, or military transport, offering versatility that traditional aircraft couldn't dream of anytime soon. Four, fuel efficiency and environmental benefits. Jet Zero claims its blended wing body design can cut fuel use by as much as 50% relative to traditional aircraft. This is a game changer in an industry where fuel costs are a significant expense. The reduced fuel burn also directly correlates with lower emissions, aligning with global sustainability goals. And that isn't all the XBW-1 would do for the environment. With its engines mounted on top of the wing, the noise signature is directed upwards, significantly reducing community noise impact. This could allow operations at airports where noise restrictions are stringent, offering airlines more operational flexibility. Third operational capabilities. The increased fuel efficiency of the XBW-1 directly translates to the ability to carry heavier payload without burning more fuel. Without heavier payload on board, it translates to longer flight ranges. This capability is particularly attractive for transcontinental flights or for military applications where range is crucial. The aircraft's fewer protruding parts, fewer parts exposed to the atmosphere, also means a lower radar cross-section or better stealth. All of these mean that in addition to aerial refueling, the XBW-1 can take on more military roles such as intelligence, reconnaissance, and surveillance, where it flies into enemy airspace undetected to gather crucial data on enemy activities and enable friendlies make better calculated decisions. Second, structural and design innovation. 
Perhaps what the XBW1 is most obviously known for at first sight, its structural and design innovation. This innovation goes beyond just the looks too. Jet Zero plans to leverage advanced composite materials to construct the aircraft, allowing for complex unique shapes that offer strength with reduced weight. This material choice aids in achieving the aircraft's efficiency by minimizing structural weight, solving a crucial problem faced by traditional planes today. Due to its design, and its similarity to flying wing aircraft like the B-2 Spirit. The XBW-1 could be unstable by nature, and like the B-2 Spirit, it could require advanced fly-by-wire controls and active control surfaces at the wingtips to maintain agile flight. First, military-grade aerodynamics. The design of the XBW-1 significantly reduces drag by blending the wings and fuselage into a seamless aerodynamic shape. This configuration minimizes the area where the wing meets the body, reducing parasitic drag. According to Jet Zero, this can achieve a drag reduction of at least 30%, enabling the aircraft to cut through the air like a knife through butter, smooth as you like. This also means less fuel is burnt in pushing through the air. The aircraft's design also means the entire body of the aircraft contributes to lift, not just the wings. Like with traditional aircraft, this broadens the lift distribution, allowing for a higher lift-to-drag ratio, which in turn supports heavier payloads or longer flight distances with less fuel. The merits of a blended wing-body aircraft over traditional aircraft are substantial. As a result, there is widespread interest in this new type of aircraft, from airline companies, the Air Force, and even NASA, which has been heavily involved in the XBW-1 project. NASA's involvement includes research into noise reduction, stability, and control, leveraging their experience with previous blended wing-body projects like the X-48. But the XBW-1 isn't all peaches and roses just yet. It has some more solutions to provide for some more challenges if it will enjoy widespread market adoption. One of these challenges is stability and control. The blended wing design requires new approaches to control. Jet Zero's work must involve very sophisticated flight control systems to ensure safe and efficient flight across various conditions. Another is that it is yet to be determined the impact of incredibly high speeds on the aircraft. In a world where speed has helped win wars, this is crucial, and yet it seems the XBW-1 doesn't yet know if it'll end up subsonic, supersonic, or hypersonic. The XBW-1's application in the military means the aircraft might have a need for speed more dire than Hollywood, and it does have the potential for speed too. Its aerodynamic efficiency offers reduced drag, which could allow for higher cruising speeds. Its fuel efficiency means it can maintain these higher speeds and aim even higher. Then its material and structural innovations, such as the use of advanced composite materials, means the aircraft could handle the stress that comes with the higher speeds. So yes, there are major sections of the aircraft that can embrace blurry supersonic or even hypersonic speeds, but there are also factors that threaten this. The aircraft's design might allow it to cut through the air with ease, but it could still face challenges in terms of structural integrity at high speeds. The pressure distribution over the aircraft's unconventional shape needs careful management to avoid stress concentrations or flutter, especially at transonic speeds where shockwaves form. At these higher speeds, the control surfaces and systems also have more work to do, a lot more work to do, in ensuring pitch, yaw, and roll stability every microsecond. The heat that comes from such flight must also be considered. Jet Zero must ensure the aircraft's body can withstand the heat inherent to high-speed flight, although this might be more easily handled than the previously mentioned issues. Besides the aircraft itself, other factors could prevent the XBW-1 from reaching supersonic or hypersonic speeds. Like the Concorde showed, a massive airliner traveling at supersonic speeds may not be too widely accepted, thanks to the loud, sonic booms inherent to supersonic flight. The Concorde, the only supersonic airliner of the past, had to endure a lot of court cases and criticisms from people and experts all around the world. When it flew over, it simply made too much noise and even rattled windows. If the XBW-1 will be an airliner that cruises at supersonic speeds all around the world, it must find a way to read the room and treat the sky like a library keep it shush. Only after this will it be able to overcome the certification hurdles that Concord was never able to fully overcome. The placement of the XBW-1's engines on the wings could help with this though, as a lot of sound output is reflected upwards. So, the XBW-1 does have some hurdles to leap over or fly over. 
some hurdles of which have never been successfully flown over before. But the XBW-1 is different, unique, and seems well-equipped to do the impossible. That's why the US isn't the only country invested in developing aircraft of this class. No, the XBW-1 has some powerful rivals. America's most powerful rivals are doing what powerful rivals do, keeping up and threatening to overtake. China and Russia, like the US, are developing new aircraft with revolutionary, unique designs. Here are some of these aircraft. Hongdu GJ-11 Sharp Sword of China The Hongdu GJ-11 Sharp Sword is a Chinese unmanned combat aerial vehicle that embodies the concept of a flying wing, similar in some respects to the XBW-1 aircraft being developed by Jet Zero. The GJ-11, designed for both precision strike and reconnaissance missions, utilizes stealth technology with its tailless flying wing configuration, reducing its radar signature, much like the anticipated blended wing body aircraft. While the XBW-1 focuses on commercial and military transport, aerial refueling, and potentially bomber roles with an emphasis on fuel efficiency, noise reduction, and payload capacity, the GJ-11 serves as a combat drone, potentially acting as a loyal wingman to manned aircraft or operating independently. Its internal weapons base and stealth capabilities could make it a formidable rival in terms of tactical deployment and survivability in contested airspace, areas where traditional aircraft designs struggle. However, the GJ-11 does not match the XBW-1's potential for large-scale cargo or passenger operations due to its smaller size and different mission focus. Sukhoi S-70 Okotnik B, Russia the Sequoia E's 70 Okotnik B, known as Hunter B, is a Russian heavy unmanned combat aerial vehicle with a flying wing design akin to the XBW-1. Developed by Sukhoi and the Russian aircraft corporation MiG, the Okotnik B focuses on stealth, reconnaissance, and combat capabilities, leveraging technologies from the Su-57 fighter jet. Like the XBW-1, the Okotnik B's design reduces drag and enhances stealth, but its primary role is different. While Jet Zero's aircraft aims at revolutionizing transport with its efficiency, capacity, and potential for roles like aerial refueling or long-range cargo, the Okotnik B is tailored for combat like its Chinese counterpart. It is designed to operate autonomously or in coordination with manned fighters like the Su-57, serving as a loyal wingman or independent strike platform. The Okotnik B's capabilities include carrying significant payloads internally, flying at high subsonic speeds, and engaging in electronic warfare, directly challenging the tactical advantages sought by the US with its blended wing body designs. So the US is in a tight race with its staunchest rivals to dominate the skies. With its rivals producing some of the most advanced aircraft on the planet, it might be up to Jet Zero and the XBW-1 blended wing body aircraft to jet the US well into the lead, literally. To applaud these efforts from these rivals, Give this video a like and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.